Good afternoon and welcome to my airship model, the Marvin. Uh, my name is Alan Meese, the Navigator. Uh, this model is made out of bamboo plant stakes from Ace Hardware. It's made out of twine and it's made out of corrugated plastic sheet. I guess it costs about $25, all that you see there. And it's made with three, about $3 worth of cable ties. So you get 100 for $3 at Ace Hardware. You get a ball of twine, a couple hundred feet for $3. And then you get these bamboo stakes, 25 stakes four foot long for five dollars a hundred feet of stakes for five dollars and then you find yourself an old uh, political campaign sign made out of corrugated plastic that can be cut down to represent uh, fiberglass and styrofoam board and this is a uh, this is a fiberglass spar I made with the cardboard uh, core form. Uh, I'm going to need to make 150 feet of that someday, but it's easy to do. So this model is 7 feet wide, 11 feet long, and 4 feet high. I have Ken the pilot sitting there to give a sense of proportion to the whole thing. This is a 1 -fifth scale model, the uh, ultralight dirigible that it's a model of will be 60 feet long. So I've arranged the cabin to be multifunctional. Uh, the seat back lays down. You can open the seat and reveal the one kilowatt electrical generator suspended on bungee cords to reduce vibration. Uh, this seat is sound insulated make the ride a little more pleasant. Looking underneath we can see the generator sitting there. And again that's styrofoam with fiberglass skin. All of those uh, sheets. So we've got eight sticks coming together. Sort of uh, two inverted pyramids. It's twice as long in the stern as in the bow. That gives it a one-third ratio forward to aft that should provide an amount of lift as it gains speed. Speed is provided by the electrical motors, 110 volt half horsepower motors, one forward, one aft. Uh, the forward motor will tilt up and down for adjusting the angle of attack of this here dirigible and the stern will turn left and right to make the ship go left and right. Um, the lift bags will be inside pressing upwards on the four upper frames so I've got uh, suspension lines rigged about halfway back to the stern coming down to the main the main uh, harness which also has another suspension line going up to the apex of the four upper frames and here's where they all come together and support the weight of the payload so it was $25 Oh, Ken was seven dollars. Twenty-five dollars to make this whole model and uh, develop the aerodynamics and the proportions and the layout of the eventual flying model. It'll be covered with plastic sheeting called shrink wrap. The heavy-duty, uh, maybe five or six mil maybe four mil, haven't decided yet, which will come down from the top spars 
attached to these these shrouds, like a sailboat shroud. So it'll be covered in plastic. The lift balloon, balloons, 25, will be released inside to go up and float against the plastic envelope and raising the airship. Uh, thanks. I hope you have good luck with your model. It's the only way to design an airship because you learn skills and techniques that you'll be using on the eventual real thing and it's also a much better way to grasp your design and understand it. A uh, paper and pen can only do so much. Even the beautiful 3D drawings cannot compete with what you'll learn when you do an actual physical model. So this is the Navigator. Wishing you good luck and we'll see you online.